As we already know with futsal, just in any other collective sport, there are determined positions that require specific skills and attributes from players. Understanding these specific skills is important in order to succeed and to perform well. In this video, we will specifically talk about the alas, also commonly referred to as wingers. Let's see more. What's up guys, Coach Tiago here. Welcome back, and if you're new to our channel, I'd like to welcome you, and we hope you have a good experience and learn a bit from our videos. Before anything, don't forget to subscribe below to our channel and to hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we upload new content to the channel. And remember, anytime you have a specific question about one of our videos or about a different topic than what's on our videos, please reach out to us. Without any further ado, let's talk about the alas. So the alas are usually the players who are positioned on the sides of the court, which can either be on the left or the right, and they're most likely responsible for the development of plays. I say they're usually on the side because as we know, futsal is a very dynamic and fast-paced game, and players need to be constantly moving and rotating positions on and off the ball. So we might see alas at any position on the court. They're commonly very creative players, both individually with dribbles and moves, and also collectively with key passes and assists to teammates. They should defend and attack in the same proportion, which would require higher resistance and endurance to keep up with the quick and constant transitions of play. All the physical characteristics that an ally should have are high speed, strength, and have good coordination and balance. Technically, Alas must have good passing skills and be good dribblers, have accurate shots, a good defensive understanding, and also be able to dribble the ball with high speeds and changes of directions. Most of the times, they are the ones who are taking the initiative to attack, so mentally, they should have courage to be constantly going at defenders and also good emotional control to accept constantly losing the ball. They should also have aggressiveness and determination. There are three different tactics used by coaches when selecting the right alas to play. The first one is what we call the regular position, which is when there is a left-footed player playing on the left and a right-footed player playing on the right side. This tactic is the most common one, especially in young age groups, and we most likely have the alas going towards the end line, parallel to the side lines. For example, having a left-footed player playing on the left side, they will try to take the ball to their left-footed, so towards the end line. The second option, which we call an inverted position, is having the opposite. It's having a left-footed player playing on the right side and a right-footed player playing on the left side. This inverted position is used to facilitate shooting angles. In other words, the right ala, in this case the left-footed player, would most likely dribble to the inside, to the middle, increasing his or her shooting angle. The same could be applied on the other side, with the left ala, in this case the right-footed player, dribbling towards the middle. The third and last option is a mix of both. Having a regular ala on one side of the court, prioritizing parallel runs and inverted ala on the opposite side. For example, is having a left-footed player, left-footed, as a right ala, prioritizing dribbling to the middle, and a left-footed player playing on the left side, prioritizing parallel runs. These tactics can be predetermined before matches, but a smart coach would be the one to read the opponent's weaknesses and try to apply the best option within the specific game situation. So, to close this video, if I could pick one essential characteristic for an ala, it would be creativity. And this is, for me, what differentiates the good alas from the great alas. I hope you have enjoyed and learned a bit about the alas. As I mentioned before, if you have any additional questions about this topic or any other topic, leave us a message below. They'll be sure to try to answer you. We'll catch you later.